Hello Hanna, thanks for submitting your animation shot. Uh, let's have a look on it and let's see uh, what areas we can improve here. I assume that you are on the blocking plus stage, so the next stage is the pollution. Let's have a look and let's see what we can improve here. This shot looks so cool, actually, yeah. Very nice. There are some areas that we can little bit change in terms of the timing that I see now because everything is little bit speeded up very little bit quick we can add some frames here couple frames just for attack this is good in terms of the timing I think in terms of the spacing but again we can we can little bit add weight on it so probably uh, probably what we can do, just add a little bit extra frames here, just, just to see how, and then drop, and then drop this thing. Uh, yeah, let's focus on the green guy and then we'll talk about the bunny. Here the pose, I like it. It's really cool. Let's see how it looks like. Yeah, it's, it's okay. I think what we can change, especially You see this dramatic change from this pose to that pose and it kind of jump every everywhere so what we can do uh, we can smooth it a little bit so we can add extra frame for example If we have this torso and head here, maybe we can a little bit add it here. Yeah, just a little bit smooth it because it's a little bit too much things happen. Yeah. And in terms of the timing, I would think I I th I'm thinking of we can little bit hold this pose, and this pose should be a little bit higher because we have too much negative space. It could be just slightly higher. Imagine that. Yeah, and a little bit clearer. We can make it a little bit clear because you know you have here like 90 degree angle uh, but just we can change it easily for example if you put her towards a little bit higher and you'll change angle of the of the hand so it will yeah, it will improve the the pose. I I I'm, I I I think because now it's like so we will have clear silhouette here, 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 and here especially. So everything will be clear, and the idea of this pose is just to show the line of action on his. On his uh, on his head, especially if we are thinking of about about uh, composition. So let's let's break it down. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So her head could be here on this cross, and his head could be here. So we will have very good understanding of like composition, how it looks like. You know the rule of thirds so yeah 
think about it. And what I would do on this on uh, during this um, attack, the last attack, I would during during she is on on in the air. I probably I'll add extra frame. So I will keep this pose. Uh, let's 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 mark it like this. I would keep it more. I will keep it in this frame, in that frame, in that frame, and then I will strike. St strike. So for, it's just for readability. Um, because now I f I have a feeling that it's just very quickly. It's not that readable. Jump, jump, hand, 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 and hit. Yeah, that could be hit here. So keep her, keep her high. Again, keep her here. This guy could be a little bit lower. And yeah, and and this is. I don't know. Yeah, it's not the best um, drawing, of course, but you have idea. What is going on here? Okay, I will delete this. Um. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Yeah, this this moment when she is transferred from evading his hit. This is nice, but see how big spacing is. So it's probably you can you can smooth it a little bit, and and I have the feeling that she has hit the wall here. So you can add a little bit frames because we are adding frames here remember here here so it will make this mo uh, movement a little bit smoother and and less chop choppy uh, what else I wanted to notice yeah in the end yeah just see and think about where we can little bit because now, because of the huge difference, it's hard to understand the right timing with uh, with with this brutal changes of the weapon. If you know what I mean. So think about always during the blocking that, for example, if you have a sword here, so how. The sword will very smoothly transition to your to your uh, to your hand, rather than having these dramatical changes. So you know what I mean, dramatic changes. So this will help you to avoid this 
even here you know this this pose of it and this pose it's too much so yeah think about it during this because it's it's not just the weapon right it's just the hand so it's 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 a little bit too much of the movement yeah but overall it's, it's nice and, and here are the same thing i would say i would tell you so you see this dramatic change so probably it will be something like this and then it will be like this so it will be more smooth and heaviness in it even during the blocking even here i love this pose but keep keep the hand here maybe and i think it would be more clear if you have And here, boom. Keep the hand uh, straight. <clears throat> yeah, I think this is probably the most important notes. Uh, don't forget about this this hand. Yeah, this left hand contact with the ground yeah and probably a little bit change the timing of the trying to reach with your with his hand view so probably could be like this and then Right. And you can drop and drop his his hand like this. Let's see. So you will be here at some point. Boom, boom. So what else? <laughs> You know one crazy idea I have Remember we we wanted to add more frames here for clarity Probably you can keep this pose more keep more frames and transition to this pose but during this pose you can add more more anger to him like he's very angry what you done to him you know like he's very like outrageous screaming it's like it's like be prepared so he's like very pow powerful and ener ener energetic now so and then he prepared to attack you so yeah so then he just attack you
yeah let's uh, flag check in the end and we'll polish everything Probably this, we can keep this pen a little bit more bent in just for maybe this, le uh, this left hand as well. Just for better readability and more like stable pose. Yeah, and this pose, yeah, it should be a little bit pushed, a uh, little bit more clear in terms of the silhouette. I uh, check the 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 how how she's probably she should be more more straight. That's it. I know it's tricky, but yeah, or probably show a little bit of your hand just for readability. And one more, one slight note, note just after this hit, because your right hand keep the sword. You can little bit stretch it, stretch it, and then so you so the sword travel some some at some point somewhere, and then you you will uh, take the weight of it. 